What do you want? I was again in the auction rooms, contemplating a small Italian mantle. I will bid it for you. Turning, I saw the antique dealer with whom we often dealt, standing nearby. I pointed to the mantle. It was Italian polychrome, with two carved cupids over the opening, made in exquisite bas-relief. It had two gold-fluted columns with a hand-painted design on the background. No one could make this today, I thought. It could have been made only by some ancient craftsman. What will you pay for it, said our antique dealer to me. I named my highest price, and leaving him to bid, I waited for the auction to start. The room became crowded, and I sat down to watch the proceedings. The auctioneer, in a loud voice, opened the session. There were chairs and tables to be sold, but few bidders. It is very dull, I thought, as I sat waiting. Would he never come to my object? Then I saw, as in a dream, the auctioneer walk up to the little golden mantle and start a bid. My heart began pounding as I watched. Then bid after bid echoed around the room. I almost jumped off my chair in my excitement. The auctioneer had reached my top price. My heart stood in my mouth. Then I saw the dealer slip up to the rear of the auctioneer. His hand darted out and pulled the auctioneer's coattail. It happened more quickly than I can tell it. Gone, cried the auctioneer, and went on to the next item. See, said the antique dealer to me afterward, it's yours. It's very simple when you understand. <laughs>